Hello everybody, I'm Emma Central and welcome back to another OMSI 2 video with me once again where in this video we are back in Scunthorpe 2020 to end out the week now that the map is publicly released again all the niggles and what's have been sorted out before we take a little look again at Simply Bus Route number 7 that runs from Skippingdale Retail Park to Scunthorpe so it is run by Stagecoach in the real world as part of their Simple Bus Network. However, the bus that we're driving in this video is the Citaro in this absolutely lovely repaint reflecting the Go North East Connector Shuttle that's currently um, a temporary service run by Go North East um, connecting off route number 56 that runs between um, Newcastle, Gateshead and Sunderland at Concord Interchange going towards the Nightingale Hospital Vaccination Centre. The repaint itself has been made by Blockybus, who has done an absolutely superb job. I will link the repaint in the description below. And the registration of the bus that we are driving today, that is NK08CGV, reflects Citaro 5294 that is in this livery in the real world. Also gives me a good excuse to drive the Citaro again, that I do like this bus. So it is a nice to have an excuse to drive it again. So the vehicle itself is a left path to right, a right path to left path convert. So it, it's not. Let's see if this actually works. There are seven. Boom. Root. Nope. Okay. Um, we'll do it this way instead then, I think. So we're covering route number seven. There we go. Sorted. So it is a vehicle that was originally converted across by Lowland 21 Studios. However, the bus is there. We go. I'm breaking off and everything. Although the bus is now available on the Fellow Films forums. So again, it's a free bus, and I will link it in the description below. So pretty much everything you're watching in this video is free to download. So, and I do recommend it. So route number seven, as it says, interworked with route number eight on the map and in the real world, both part of the renumbered simpler bus network. Um, an idea introduced. Oh, it seems we're having, you hear that sort of little sound? I think it's because it was raining earlier in the real world sort of weather setting. So it's having a, little, having a few issues with the weather. I reflect, I'm basically reflecting like puddles being on the ground. That's realistic. We'll, we'll let it have that. But the Simpler Bus Network was an idea introduced. I forgot how delicate these brakes are. Um, was introduced by Stagecoach East Midlands. Um, it's, I believe, the only place that has used the idea of Simpler Bus. And has been used in Hull, where services were renumbered to an easier number one, two, three onwards system. The idea was then expanded um, to include Scunthorpe and has since also gone on to include Grimsby and Lincoln, the main operational bases for Stagecoach in the East Midlands. So the connector shuttle and the sort of vaccination stuff is not something we obviously usually discuss on the channel. Um, I usually try and keep the real world politics and all of that lot um, off the channel as it, it's the way that you guys escape. But the concept of these connect from vaccination shuttles I do find very interesting as although on a temporary basis now some of them may become a quite sta a bit of a staple part of how um, the bus service is run and funded in future. They're hopefully also an interesting idea for smaller coach operators that may have necessarily not been funded in the right way over this pandemic. I say not necessarily, I mean they haven't, they haven't been funded, I'm not going political on you all, but they haven't been funded in the right way. Um, but hopefully a nice way for them to make a little bit of money um, to hopefully compensate the lost revenue over the autumn and winter periods. So the idea of vaccination shuttles is expanding now and Gone Off East being the first operator to really introduce one. 
um, having the, their own livery on the vehicles, having their own branding scheme, um, and sort of announcing it in what I must say is probably the, the sort of best fashion that you could do it. They are slowly followed by Transdiv Harrogate, who introduced a vaccination shuttle um, from Harrogate to the vaccination point just out of town, down Weatherby Road, and locally around the area as well. Um, starting this month has seen the introduction of the vaccination shuttle run by Stotts Coaches in Huddersfield. We're running a half hourly service from Huddersfield bus and railway stations. So additionally on top of that as well has seen the introduction of um, concessionary passes on a temporary basis being valid before 9.30 in the morning. Although many PTs and councils introduced it during lockdown one, lockdown two, they've sort of been quite um, sort of reserved about introducing it. However, um, with the vaccination process becoming a 24 hour service and vaccinations taking place before 9.30 in the morning and currently being on your four priority groups, there was two, there was a van in a car. We're going to ignore that. We're going to continue, pretend that wasn't there. So, um, with it being in the four priority groups at the time of recording, um, they have introduced um, unlimited free travel even before 9.30 in the morning. So, all is well on that front. Um, I'm not going to discuss it for much longer, I promise, um, as I do know that uh, you, you all watch these videos to get away from what's going on in the real world. However, I feel like it would have been a little bit rude. I didn't ever so slightly mention it seen as we're driving this lovely repaint. So I think everything is looking better. It's all looking up. I mean, I still am keeping all entertained this month um, with the videos and continued content. But on the main front of the statistics, everything is improving and on its way up. So hopefully, we are looking for quite a nice summer. So keep on going. Um, remember that our lockdown and lives are taking place twice a week. Everybody um, can get involved in them. We play free to play multiplayer games that you can play alongside me, other YouTubers that get invited along, and other people that watch the channel. And hopefully make a few new friends through that as well. So um, feel free to join in with the lockdown and lives. If you are feeling a little bit down and want to get involved, and remember as well that I have the social media, Instagram and Facebook channels. Although I'm not a counsellor, unfortunately, um, I can advise um, the suitable channels um, for contact if you are feeling down or um, upset with the current situation. So everybody keep positive and keep saying and keep enjoying the content that I'm doing. So we're going to side away from that now. Um, obviously, as I don't want to devote the entire video to that, as you hear enough about it in the real world, so I'm not, I don't want to devote the content to it, but staying with the Citaros, and the Citaros that are soon to be launched on the City Connect, it's not City Connect, it's City, City Link, Cross City, that's the one, Cross City, you was close. Um, Cross City 41 service in Manchester with Go North West. Um, that was mentioned in week 15 of Talking Buses, episode 15 of Talking Buses, um, by the Doncaster Bus Enthusiasts. If you haven't already, do go and check out that show, um, that episode, and check out the rest of the series as well. Weekly uploads on them on Fridays at the moment. So we mentioned the um, Cross City 41 service that is the first branded route using Citaros that is going to, that currently runs, Route 41 currently runs from Rushholm, I believe, so Rushholm and Sale, um, all the way up to Manchester, um, Greater Manchester General Hospital, I believe, or North Manchester, that's the one, North Manchester General Hospital, um, just north of Cheatham Hill. So it's going to be interesting to see those buses take um, take their way into service and I will be sure to have... Oh, come on, car, what are you doing? Um, and I will be sure to take a little look over at... Oh, let me go. At the route over the summer period and hopefully do a little bit of a video on it. 
I believe, top of my head, I haven't um, looked at the stats recently, but I believe they get from 28 Sitaros. Somebody will know in the comments below, and um, feel free to edit me on that, but I'm sure it's the number that I've got in my head is 28. So they won't all be for Route 41, however a number are going to be on that service. It's very nice to drive this bus. I think something I really like about this bus is the camera positioning. That basically means you can sort of have a little bit more care in sort of the cars in front of you and accessing your mirrors and things is quite nice about this bus. That's something I've got to admit. Obviously it's quite a low down driving position compared to some of the other vehicles, but I think I prefer this. I think it just, I just feel I can drive a little bit better with it. We just have to listen to the Sitaro gears um, at this point. As it, it's been quite a while since I've been in the Sitaro. I think the last one I went on was the Connections bus one, the XCR bus example that they have. So... I'm hoping to go on some more in the future, and obviously when Manchester get theirs with Go North West, I'll be sampling a number of them as those. Um, go North East ones are absolutely superb. I've been on a fair few at this point. The clear, good. If you're turning left, you could have let me out, Peugeot. Come on. on the 35 route. We must be nearly back. Yes, we are recognised this junction because this is a junction I ended up spending ages at in the 35 video. If you haven't already, do go and check that out as route 35 to Amcots is in this variant of Scunthorpe. So there's that and route 11. That's quite an interesting route as I believe it only runs at peak times and it turns left out of the bus station instead of turning right like the rest of these routes do. I've forgotten how nice this bus is to drive. I really have. It is actually quite nice. So before I forget, um, I'd like to sort of mention the plan for videos next week um, so that you guys get a rough idea of what's going on this next week and what you can look forward to. And um, we will have our two locked down and lives um, next week. Obviously this video is coming out just as the other one's finished. I believe I'm going to premiere this one after it so there'll be some of you who have literally just come from a lockdown on live and watching this. So I hope you all enjoyed the lockdown on live and remember to give it a like and if you are new um, hello and welcome to the channel. So for this next week coming up locked down and live will feature twice again we'll have a one in midweek and one at the weekend. Um, and on the two side of things, we have got some exciting content on that side as well, with um, these with a, a heavily heavily requested um, look at Smarden Route 349. So that's going to be cool as well. So I hope you all all enjoy that. I know that there's been a significant demand for that route. Basically, smiles and video went up and everybody turned around and went, please do route, route 349, please. So we'll take that as our next route on Smarden. Hopefully over the next couple of weeks, we're going to visit most of their services as I'm looking forward to seeing some of the more smaller bus routes as well. That'll be quite nice. So as well as that, we are going to be visiting the HK world again um, with a little look at a HK bus. Um, I'm going to keep it a little bit of a secret, but we are going to be taking a look um, by demand at Great Grundorf 2, left path again. So that will also be coming up this week, so do look forward to that.
There's also a third video, and I've genuinely forgotten what I planned it as, so we'll stop at the next bus stop and I will go through that plan as well. Oh, we won't stop at this one, wait until somebody actually wants to jump off. I don't know why I've forgotten it. Um, it, it I mean, it's good, it's good, I hope, hopefully it's exciting. Um, I cannot remember the third on to two video that I've got in the planning stages. So I apologise about that. There may also, subject to sort of map releases, etc, etc, be a few changes as well. Why did I overrun that so much? So do prepare for them as well. Da, 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 da. Load up my document. So yes, then as well, our final video. Oh, I've got rid of the screen. No, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about getting rid of the screen, people. Um, my apologies. I had to load up a Word document that I've noted everything down on because I accidentally um, closed the tab before I started the video, even though I was referencing that for this video. So our third video is going of this week that I've already planned. There's also going to be a fourth one. Um, I'll be looking for your suggestions on that. So if you want to suggest something for that, do let me know. And I'll put it into consideration. Is We're going to take a little look by demand again by request at the ALX400, um, the MB Workshop sound mod for the ZF ALX400 and Trident. So that should be quite nice on London, all being well. So these, are, as I say, it's all sort of pending um, plans. I'm giving you an idea of what I've got planned at the moment. However, uh, Monday morning, um, or sort of, yeah, whenever I record all my videos on mass, do be prepared that they could all change. And then also going to be working on my weekly um, real life sort of review focus video. Um, as I'm going to hopefully try and get back into a weekly fashion for them, all ready for us to return to um, our normal out and about day trips. So I've got a few videos of them planned. So I'm going to be working on another one of them this week. Um, and what, why are you all going round? I'm not. I'm not the 350. I mean, I'm, I'm going through here to park up, but I'm not the 350. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness me. Um, punctuality was a interesting on that to turn the electrics on so we can see the blind. So yes, we've got an exciting week ahead of us. Oh, we're just <laughs> scumf off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll do something, see if this works. This might not work. Um, I don't know if it will or not. There we go, scumf off 2020. That's the map that we're dealing with in this video we've dealt with. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Yes, it's been a short one actually, but it's been a nice route on Route 7 from Skippingdale Retail Park to Scunfort bus station, a route in the real world that is operated by Stagecoach Scunfort. I believe primarily using darts, however they do see um, Viking double deckers and I believe a few Eclipses on it as well, some B7R release. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video, I do hope you found it factual and interesting. If you did enjoy it, do remember to click that like button so that other people can find this video easier and enjoy it like you did. And if you are new to the channel, hell, if you channel, if you're new to the channel, um, hello and welcome. And um, do consider subscribing for more content like this, both from the OMSI 2 world as well as other simulation games and from the real life bus world. I remember our talking buses um, series is currently in full and um, full steam and is out every Friday at 3 p.m. alongside our ever popular Locked Down and Lives that are our free to play multiplayer games alongside me and other YouTubers that you can all get involved in. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Make goodbye for now. Bye.